Thank you for being here. Um, how should the Senate vote on the impeachment trial? And if you if you will, say it should be for removal of, of President Trump, what was it that you heard from an intelligence person during the House aspect of it that led you to your to your stance? Well, I do think that uh, the president's demonstrated he deserves to be removed, and uh, it's not only because of evidence that surfaced in the hearings. It's because the president confessed in broad daylight to seeking foreign interference in American politics. Uh, and we have to decide, not just about this president, but about our presidency, uh, whether it's going to be above the law or not. But having said that, you know, at the end of the day, uh, no matter what happens on the floor of the Senate, uh, we're living in an election year, and if the Senate's not going to act, the American people get to decide. How often do you see touchdown Jesus in person, and <laughs> is that statue more famous than you? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Um, I would. Uh, well, let's stipulate that, that Jesus is certainly more famous than any American politician. Touchdown Jesus, harder to harder to rate, um, but uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, kind of presided over my boyhood when my parents were working at Notre Dame. Uh, and uh, as they've expanded Notre Dame Stadium, there's less and less of him visible from, from our seats, but you can still see the hands up there. Oh, I, I made it to the theater all of two or three times mm -hmm. uh, in 2019. I can't even remember. It's not on Netflix, let's say, what you saw in the theater. Yeah, that's making it harder. <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> what do we see in the theater? Uh... You saw that movie where the lady who hates romantic comedies realizes she's in a romantic comedy? Remember, remember what that's called? Uh, no? Isn't it romantic? Yeah, that was pretty good. It was pretty funny. Um, that's the last one I can remember seeing. Okay, okay. In 2019. <coughs> okay. I think that we need perspective from outside of the Senate. Uh, I get that conventionally we look to people with more Washington uh, establishment experience, but I also think we've gotten to this point as a country because of all the things in Washington that haven't worked. And so, look, if you're looking for the most Washington experience, you've got your choice, and I'll admit it isn't me. <laughs> but I'm running because I think we need to get Washington to look more like our best-run cities and towns instead of the other way around. And this is our chance to bring that perspective. Uh, I know my way around Washington. I understand the ways of Washington. I, I just don't accept them. Yeah, so I was responsible for about a, a, a thousand people uh, working for the city and about a, a $300 million a year budget, give or take 50 million bucks, depending what was going on with bonds and infrastructure. Uh, but manage that uh, uh, workforce with a very small mayor's office staff. Uh, one of the things about the way we're set up uh, in Indiana is it's uh, called a strong mayor system. There's no city manager or anything like that. That's so, that's uh, yeah, no, when something happens, there's no one else to call. Okay. Lizzo, Adele, Beyonce, or Ariana? Ooh. Um, Lizzo's the only one out of that group I've met, and I think she's amazing. So, uh, at least for today, I'm going to stick with Lizzo. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can I ask a bonus? Yeah. What do you admire about Donald Trump? Uh, I would have trouble using the word admire. Um, let me say this. He is very skilled in the art of changing the subject. Uh, that's why I think it's going to take a lot of discipline to keep the topic of this election not on him, uh, but on us, which is what I think elections are really about. Thank you. Thanks.